Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday and welcome to closet cam. And you might be saying, why are you sleeping in the closet? Well, I have not slept very well at all for a week and I don't have any problems falling asleep initially, but I have a lot of trouble staying asleep. So if I wake up in the middle of the night for one of many reasons, either I just wake up which has been happening, um, or I have to go to the bathroom, or God forbid, Kepler wakes me up, or whatever other reason. I wake up, I, I cannot fall back to sleep. And this is very uh, disconcerting because a lot of times I'm getting like four hours of sleep and then I just cannot fall back to sleep at all. So um, I decided that the best thing to do would be to put myself in a dark spot that was two doors away from the cat, so I am, I have the closet door and then also the bathroom, master bathroom door. So I'm two doors away from the cat and uh, it's, it's quiet. I can turn on the phone as a white noise machine and um, just try and get some sleep because I have not managed to um, recover from extra life in any capacity. Uh, and that has been really bad. So I slept I, I got the inflatable mattress and I slept in the closet last night. And I got to tell you, it worked. It worked. Um, this was uh, a bona fide good idea. Uh, I still had to get up a few times to go to the bathroom um, because I drank a lot of water right before bed, which is probably a stupid idea. But the important thing is as soon as I was done in the bathroom and I got back in bed, I fell asleep immediately, which has not happened at all. And I did it multiple times. So this worked and um, that's good. And uh, I'm probably going to do it again tonight. But for now, I have gotten the most rest at any one time um, since Extra Life. I actually slept eight hours and uh, I'm going to get up and start my day finally for the first time in a while feeling not like a complete zombie and i'm really happy about that yeah unfortunately mal didn't sleep very well and i hate that um she actually woke up in the middle of the night she slept bad she <laughs> she slept on her back um and like right before she fell asleep she was she was she was on her back and she was like oh i need to flip but i'll just give the cat another minute because the cat is comfortable and then she fell asleep um, so she woke up in pain and has been up for a long time. So she didn't sleep very much, but, um, I'm feeling pretty good today at least. So hopefully Mal can maybe get a nap later on. Okay. I'm gonna get up. So Brandon finally made it. Yeah. This is a, this is a place to live. Yeah. And you got like a bed. Sorry. I figured it could off gas tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I was looking through the place and I noticed that you got like several bedrooms. Yeah. Cause you got like a bedroom over here. Okay. I got, uh, there's four. There's four bedrooms. Oh, that's a lot of bedrooms. Sorry. Oh, well, I'm in the way. That just seems like a lot of space. It might be nice if like, I don't know, there was other people living here to take up some of the rooms. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Can I move in with you? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Oh, I live here now. <laughs> if, if, if I have the time, which I probably won't, I want to do like a smash thing where it's like, Jepson joins place. Sorry. It probably, it, hmm. Jepson joins the place. Yeah. yeah. Josh lives here. I yeah. live here. Yeah, we're, we're in on it. Oh, somebody else lives here, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dan. Yeah, Dan lives here, it's too. It's Dan. Yeah. It's Dan lives here. We're roommates. That's not, like, a farce. That's no, real. No, that's true. That's that's real. Real. There's, There's no home. jokes here. We're, we don't joke. Yeah. Well, we... <laughs> collectively, we don't joke. We've never told a joke before. <laughs> but it's true. Um, the plan has been for some time now and is now being revealed that not only is Brandon moving here, but Josh and Dan are moving here and they are rooming together. It's very important that I say that, uh, so many of you probably know that I am married to a lovely Canadian lady. She is in Canada where she has healthcare. 
and <laughs> I am living here without health care. And, uh, and so it's, we're doing this long distance marriage thing, which is a little strange probably to some people, but it's working for us. Yeah. Also like Josh will make a video at some point where he goes into much more detail than this video will. Yeah. And then you can talk all about the intricacies and what the last few months of your life has been like. Oh boy. Oh, lots of, it's been a trip. It's been a trip. Um, but at least now you're finally here, which is, uh, Good and exciting. Yeah. So uh, Dan will be here Saturday. Saturday. Three days from now. That is soon. Okay. Yeah. So once Dan's here, then this house. I've been unofficially calling you the Three Musketeers because yeah. there are three of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there were four of us, then it we would be the four Musketeers. Crushed. Yeah. But if there were five of you, I could have done five guys. Okay. But Three Musketeers is fun, and it's also one of my favorite candy bars in the world. Five guys, or the yeah. runaway five. Oh my god, that's better than five guys. That is better than five guys. Because, <laughs> like, I like Earthbound. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so Brandon's got stuff to move in. Josh has got stuff to move in. He's been holding all of his stuff at Alex and Haley's place. Yeah. So many secrets. So many just, like, open secrets no one has known about. <laughs> no one has known about. Except except that people, a lot of people were guessing. <laughs> there was a lot of I've people. around a lot for a while. And it's like, man, Josh is around a lot. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, <laughs> it wasn't exactly. It was, it was a pretty open secret. It was a pretty open secret, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just glad that, if, I mean, for... Finally, for the first time in a while, the two of you have, like, a place to live. Yeah, I mean, I've been floating around for two months, so. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be good. This is going to be very good. I'm excited to have, like, a space to work out of that is my own space yeah. and not, like, a friend's spare room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is going to be good. Oh, you already got it, like, open. Well, oh, that's a thick. Yeah, sorry. Time. I have that's a thick so. Yeah, we, we need to. we got to go now. <laughs> okay. Uh, for dinner tonight, we're having everyone over to help us eat things that need to go away. Um, one of them is the uh, the bean soup that my mom had made a while back. We had had the first bin tub with uh, Alex and Haley container, and uh, we're finishing up the second one today. And we also made grilled cheese because we have a lot of bread and we have a lot of cheese. But the amount of cheese that we had is d different. So. Um, we have six different sandwiches and they're all different. Like all of the cheese on them. One of them I is think like mine's the Colby Jack one. There's like Colby Jack and then there's cheddar. One well, has some gouda. Gouda. Yeah. So you don't even really know what you're gonna get. You just know you're gonna get a grilled cheese. And I kinda like that. I like grilled cheese roulette. That's it's fun. It's actually grilled cheese roulette. <laughs> it is much funner. I agree, thank you. Yeah. One what? of them is filled yeah. with poison. Oh! <laughs> Hmm, I like that less. Look at this beautiful meal. It's delicious. It's good. It's good. I mean, we had the soup once before and it was very good, so to have it again, this time with cheese curds, mm -hmm. that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. That's real good. So these are pawpaws. They look um, a little more ripe than I think they should be, but I guess we'll see, because I've never had them before. This is a fruit that is native to North America that I've known about for like three years that I haven't actually, because no one had them in Myrtle Beach. And they have them here, but we missed the season. So I found someone on Forged Market who had some from upstate New York where they're still in season, and I bought some. They sing about them in the Jungle Book. I think so. But they are, um, the taste is a mix of like pineapple, mango, banana, sometimes there's vanilla notes, depending on the variety you get. So I don't know what variety these are. Oh, oh, wow. That's different. Yeah. Okay, so what, we just it's each getting a half a... Yeah. Okay. Do a little scoop. And then have a little spoon. I get to use a bowl. Or a bowl. Brendan loves bowls. He loves bowls. I, I think there's evidence of that, yeah. He, 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 loves, he loves lights. Bowl. He loves heat. He loves bowls. Mm -hmm. All of these things. Yeah. And if you can find a way to combine them. Go ahead. Help yourself. Yeah, I want some of the seeds. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's different. So it's like a mango and a banana. Yeah. 
Mm. It's kind of mangoey. A little got a little. Is yours sweet? Yeah. Okay, mine's not. Oh, <laughs> oh good. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's super sweet. I would say it's lightly sweet. Yeah, mango banana is. But it does taste like a mango and a banana. Yeah. Got together and we're like, hey, baby. What's <laughs> up? I'm curious what they're like when they're fully ripe. Because, like, these are pretty good, but I feel like they're also a little wee bit past the prime. We'll check mm. them next fall. I know when they go on season in Raleigh now. But I'm still happy to have the experience. Oh, my God. You got a cat toy out of it. Oh, yeah, you don't like bananas. I don't. So what's your experience like with this? It's mostly fine. It's enough away from a banana that I can respect it. <laughs> it truthfully has like the texture of a banana. That's yeah. the part that reminds me of the banana, but it doesn't have the taste. Mm. Okay. It has no respect for bananas. Oh, that's a shame. Try to hear first. It's kind of like an alien food in some ways, right? Because we didn't grow up with these commercially. It is very food. weird, right? Like, it's not a flavor I think I've ever it's like really tasted to... before. See, isn't ours a little bitter? Yeah, this isn't Here, sweet. can I have some of the bitter one? Yeah. Feed here. me. Um, Try that and tell me if that's what you tasted. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Josh made a bad face. I don't think we got the good one. No, no. Oh, oh no. Do you want to try this one? Yeah, I, I, I took a bite and I was like, that's not very good. <laughs> I didn't like that as much as the one I had. <laughs> oh. Here, there's a little of mine left. Well, you yeah, can try the better. sweet one. Oh, here, come eat this one. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me have a bite of Josh's okay. sweet Josh. Oh, oh. Uh, whoa. Let me oh. try this. Please do, do not take a, a bite out of me. It's a little mem membranous. <gasps> yeah. Which is hard, because then you get this going, which I gotta like eat around. Yeah, that's better than the one we had. Yeah, right? Sorry, but you can taste the mango in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mango-y tang. Yeah, this is this is like the one we had, except this one doesn't have the the bad taste with it. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. So maybe I mean, it's one or two of them are just a little a little past their prime. Yeah. And I mean, Mal suspected that whenever we opened them, but like, yeah. Does it get better when it's past? Well, ripe or because yeah. I would think it's bitter if it's not so, ripe yet. So these are incredibly difficult to obtain. Right? Well, so, so that's only in season for like two. Weeks. These aren't commercially available because of this problem. It's yeah, not they, yeah, they do practical. not ship well. They do not store well. And even if not... you, even if you like, are growing them, it's like kind of a crapshoot of like, well, I hope this one tastes good, and now I see why. Yeah, yeah. but they, you can find them out in the wild, like if you know where to look, yeah. and. We're gonna try that next year and see if we can find some good ones. But it's nice yeah. to be able to say I tried it. Yeah. But, but we only have a couple day window when yeah. next year comes around. Or I guess we could be like the pawpaw nomads and start migrating north with the with the season. That's a lot of effort. I think I'll just wait and try and get one. We'll, we'll have to get a bunch and then we'll just keep yeah, trying them uh, until we're like, oh, this one was good. Grow an entire it, orchard yourself. <laughs> I mean, you could. Ooh. we got all these seeds. That part was bitter. Mm. <laughs> like eat a seed, Steven. Tell me how that tastes. You no, know, a pawpaw tree will grow in your stomach. Do you think I've seen the episode of Rugrats? Do you think that the, like the 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 whiter part here is? Oh, I tried both on ours. That was better. Wait. No, yeah, that was. Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Undecided. It just so, has an aftertaste what, of not. What part was better? What versus what part? It's actually all bad. Never mind. Oh. Oh. That one's not great. Yeah. It's fine. I'm glad that we got to try it. Even if Good we... old American original pawpaw. Yeah. We're going to save the seeds and try to grow. Next, to next we have to try old banana and then ostrich egg. Wait, no. what is old banana? Old banana. Oh, that, oh. Remember, there was a banana disease. Did you go to school where they told you about the banana disease? I do remember disease? the banana. Grow, oh, oh you're show. talking about, like, banana from the old... The old oh, banana. Gotcha, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. There was the, if you eat banana-flavored candy, mm -hmm. that's what those bananas taste like. Ah, uh, I do like banana-flavored candy. So, oh, so you I might really like old banana. Yeah. Yeah, we should get some at some point. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Oh, I did that hands-free. That was great. Hands-free. Let's. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
って<笑> That really tickled Brandon's funny boy <笑>